Jay here from Tribal Moon Cacao. Welcome to day number eight of the 10 day free ceremonial grade cacao course. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the magic of ceremonial grade cacao. If you'd like to get the free 10 part ceremonial grade cacao course, please be sure to go to our website, tribalmooncacao.com and just jump on the mailing list. And please do the thing, like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. So the magic of ceremonial grade cacao is pretty mind blowing to me. The profound shifts that I've seen people have and choose to take from an experience with our medicine is nothing short of incredible. So the beauty of ceremonial grade cacao compared to other stimulants, let's say um, things like alcohol or even like marijuana or um, you know, LSD and these sorts of things, is like obviously those drugs are full on, you know, they're full on uh, mind altering, uh, perception altering substances. So ceremonial grade cacao is very mild. It's known for showing you the door, but never pushing you through it, okay? As opposed to, say, alcohol, you might have had a moment where you've had a few drinks and all of a sudden you're like, what's happening to me? Or woken up the next day and gone, what just happened? So cacao is not like that. It's very mild. And for those of you that don't have a really clean diet, you may not feel anything at all. But for others, it can be quite a profound experience, especially, like I said, the cleaner your diet. So I think where the magic of ceremonial grade cacao really shines is obviously in ceremony not just that but spiritually aware spiritually focused people using it with meditation using it with love making using it with yoga and you know artistic flares that's where it really shines so let's say in meditation for some people they find it hard to focus and hard to tune into you know staying on point with you know maybe it's their breath or maybe it's that focus on the nothingness or whatever it might be Cacao often helps with that stimulation of focus specifically and focusing on the task at hand. So if that's meditation, you might find you drop in a lot clearer and a lot more consistently to the depth of the meditation. But the most profound magic of all for me that I see is with the heart opening capacity. Now, like I've said in the other videos, the things that often happen are profound. I've seen so many people go so deep into releasing uh, emotions and energies, uh, and especially in ceremonial space where the space is set to be so safe, where these people can feel so safe, so held and so trustable, or they're in such a trustable situation, they can really release. And, you know, whether that be crying or laughing, laughing or happiness or sadness or anger or rage or anything in between in that space when it's held uh, it can really come up and be experienced and ideally let go of so when you couple this cacao with ceremony when those shifts occur where people can release like that on that depth not that level this is why cacao is so popular with you know, men's work and women's work and all these deep kind of journeys um, it really enhances the experience and you can possibly you know, go deeper and release these emotions and feelings a lot quicker than let's say without the cacao. So with that profound heart opening ability and the combination of that allowing us to possibly release these emotions, these thoughts, these stories, these patterns to then come back into you know, breath and depth and frequency to now move forward and again drop into the heart to see like okay what's next where to from here so often people leave these ceremonies or leave their experiences their meditations their um, depth of their travels with uh, cacao with a whole new perception and a whole new direction of where they want to go tomorrow and as I said in my other videos specifically around things like sacred sexuality and tuning with your beloved the connection that is able to be experienced with when people are able to feel into that heart and possibly let down a bit of extra guard or feel a bit more sensitive in their skin or in their touch or um, you know connecting with their heart to really feel like they've never felt that love drug kind of aspect um, of that, that chemical makeup of cacao again explained in my other videos is exceptional and also with creatives so musicians artists writers I hear this all the time about the creative flow that people are feeling when they have cacao uh, in their sort of daily routine so for me as a musician I find that when I'm uh, drinking cacao and using cacao in various ways 
Um, it enhances my focus and my ability to uh, focus on the task at hand and especially with creative tasks I find it's absolutely incredible the amount I'm able to get done compared to without cacao. So if you're feeling that there's any part of you that's maybe not stepping to your path as much as you would like to or wondering what that may be, I highly recommend to try cacao and to step into that magic and see what the beautiful plant medicine has uh, to share with you to maybe assist you on your journey. Again, my name is Jay. You can get me anytime at tribalmooncacao.com. In the next episode, I'm going to be speaking about the negative effects of ceremonial grape cacao. And there's still two more days in this free 10-part course. So if you haven't got the full course, make sure you jump on our website. Otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. Much love. <laughs>